Now, this is to you, Sanjana. Have you come across a situation where nothing worked and then suddenly a video worked? And I, I think that's in line with what you're asking in a way. Because you're saying, I am putting in so much effort, I am getting more clicks for my flyer because it's there. But you don't know whether people are looking at the flyer. That's okay. That's immaterial, right? However, the video itself, I put two days of effort for one minute of video, and then I don't get as many clicks. Can there be a different side to it, Sanjana? Okay, first of all, when it comes to videos, it's not that whatever you put it out there should be a video. If it deserves a text post, then go with text. If it deserves a video, go with a video. So you have to think about it in such a way that you strategically place your videos in, your, in each phase of your marketing funnel. It's not that whatever you put out there should be a video. That's a very wrong notion. Okay, so if you identify that, then uh, you can start seeing results. I'll give you an example. Uh, I do a lot of webinars, right, in Hippo Video. So uh, my audience are sales and marketing people, and I have to bring uh, sales and marketing influencers who are world-renowned sales and marketing influencers. I'll have to bring them on board with us for a webinar. That's my, one of my goals. So I'll, I'll reach out to them via email which is a cold email, They'll, they are very famous and they get a lot of requests in their inbox. So uh, I reached out to them uh, in, the, in an email and then I sent a follow-up, I didn't see any response and then I sent another follow-up, I didn't see any response. Then I thought, okay, uh, then their inbox is already crowded, so how do I stand out? What, what differently can I do to stand out and capture their attention? Then I thought of creating a rap video wrap video for webinar. So I'll have to do something very creative to stand out, right? So, okay, so we'll just create a short 30 second wrap video and send it to them and see if they are, if that is capturing their attention. I actually brought the video here, but not able to play it because of some reason. Uh, that's not a very perfect wrap video. It is funny, it is silly, but still, when I sent out the video, they actually responded. They're all world-renowned influencers. They responded to my email saying, I'll do a webinar with you. And thanks for the efforts that you've put into this video. That, that, that 30 seconds actually uh, made them do a webinar with us, and they are using our product now. So, and, and that is actually, uh, yeah. And the shoot took us one day, because uh, it was not only me who rapped. It was my whole marketing team who rapped in the video. Uh, we wrote the lyrics. Uh, we danced. We, uh, you know, we made some cool reactions, expressions, and all in the video. And so the shoot took us one day, and the editing took us one day. So it was two days of time. But the result that we saw was they were ready to do a webinar with us, and they brought our product, and they are using our product. Okay, so. This is how you should think about placing videos strategically in your marketing funnel. It's not that you have to use videos for all things that goes out there. Okay. Ah. No, there is no frequency uh, when it comes to posting content. Um, you have to provide value in your content. If there is value in your content, it will work. If there is no value, it won't work. And you have to... Uh, post a lot of content to capture their attention in social mm -hmm. so they know that okay this company uh, creates a lot of creative videos so I can go check it out so to get that uh, thought in your viewers mind it takes time so it's not that when, when you put out your first video you get that lot of at, uh, attention to your video it's, it doesn't happen so you have to start posting creative videos very often so I, there's no frequency actually, yeah.